Hey everyone, Fatty here. Just gonna make a quick review of my couple trades and the one trade that I did miss and totally underestimated and kind of regret ignoring. Uh, we'll just jump into that one. V E R U, recent runner here. Solid bottom that it put, huge gap down that climbs right back and momentum kept continuing here. I was really concerned with the resistance around the 12 13 area. But considering where I was watching it at the moment in the 11s, high 10s, I should have been a little more eager of of getting in. We have a open price play over 11.27 here. Just this is usually everything I look for. It is a bigger market cap and float. But I was mentioning how volume was strong already. So if it continued, um, I mentioned this on the live stream. Excuse me, I need to clarify. Um, it is 60 million, but what it was doing early on, it was, what was it here? I think it was either here or just as it was breaking. Volume was about 16 million. No, 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 it was back here. I remember because I remember seeing it just as it was breaking. It was right around 20 million. And I was like, damn, it just did three to four million in just a few minutes. Yeah, so right around here, I was seeing how strong the volume was. And that it was failing to break down um i just wasn't eager this market has made me a little less eager to trade i did take a couple other trades but unfortunately it wasn't this one um we'll jump into those right now but this totally underestimated it one of my patterns that i love and just been a little freaked out with gappers that pop up on my scanner as recently they haven't totally been working out so once i start seeing that morning plays are coming back i will definitely hop back into them with more confidence but so far the past week or two momentum has kind of been off with gappers um but yeah and most of the gappers have been cheap price plays so like true penny stocks we're talking about 50 cents and below um but yeah so let's just jump into my trades here just want to ignore this one miss read it underestimated it and we'll see what happens here this is having a great spike if it keeps holding up it is holding most of its gains here if it could keep holding vwap it could definitely start climbing back who knows if this thing wants to retest the year highs and maybe go to 20 that'd be the next whole number um the next yeah the nearest 10 um yeah so not much really to say there besides it's okay to miss a play you're not going to catch them all sometimes you're going to misread a play or whatnot so just ignore it but bwv here not bwv that wasn't my trade um started off with afi where'd it go where'd it go just a weak bounce play got faked out i got in at 39.6 as we got this solid move from the lows breaking the high as they typically look for and instantly saw that it was having a hard time around 40 breaking it so once i saw that lower high and failure to really keep holding red green and it started having a hard time even holding 39 i just got out at 39 moments before actually it, it had this panic i was getting out a couple minutes before um but yeah so afi a little lost went in with a starter of 4,000 shares was gonna add if i liked the play and it was doing what i wanted it didn't my loss was only 24 bucks or so nothing significant at all and it was totally outdone with my trade on rdbx rdbx another play right from the watch list like afi AFI didn't work as we just went over here. We have another Bounce play. I did recognize it is a little different than how, how I usually play it We had this weird day where it panicked big time it Went down 50% and spiked 100% and then we got this little fade so I figured shorts were in this and I was just gonna treat it like a multi-day bounce and I recognized that we had some solid resistance around three 
and com- and also combine that with the fact that I don't normally trade a bounce play in this fashion. Usually the chart is a little different. Um, so I was going to be a little quicker with it and take it from the high day that it's set, aiming for three. And early on, missed it. I also missed the hold here of VWAP and the high. That would have been an exhausting play, but definitely worked out. Kept holding trend and whatnot and key levels. Came back for the red to green. I noticed it held that, made a higher low, started continuing this trend here. So I got in at 273, and then we're just with a little starter, and then it added. I added in 278 as I saw that volume was starting to really come through. It was sustaining, kept holding trend, holding these key levels of the high from the morning, VWAP, and uh, red green here, make, confirming it with the higher low. So from there, I was just aiming for a quick 10% into the three low threes area. And we got a move, trying to test three, got to 299. And then we got this heavy selling here, and the volume kind of disappeared. So I decided to just play it safe, get out at 294 into the bounce here. And that wasn't too bad of a decision as it ended up being a top right around three. Had the good a good idea of it. It is still holding trend and it is a low float on a Friday. Wouldn't be shocked to see this make a move past three if it keeps holding trend and volume could come back. But I just want to review um, the two multi-day bounces. One of them worked out, one of them didn't. But it really comes down to executing. Um, going in with a small size on AFI, it didn't work out. But being in with the starter... Having a tight risk, I didn't want to risk all the way off day low considering I was in at 39. That would be a horrible loss. Um, did that with RGLS recently because it was a cheap price play. and Before I knew it, I was down 6%. Decided to stick in there. And then I cut it for 10%. So that was a bad loss. But for me here, I was going to be really quick with the cut. And that was a good decision. There was no follow through with the volume. It tried to hold trend and that failed. So if there's no trend in volume, I'm not sticking around. It's got nothing to it. So cut that for a small loss. Executed that properly. And then RDBX, besides being a little late to the party, should have been in the 250s, 260s. Besides that, good recognition of it holding the levels, volume continually coming in, uptrending, leading for a test of three um so good plan with that one still early to tell if it's gonna top out or keep going right now it's still trying to hold up but we'll see so that's my trade review for the day might have another one later if something else pops up but finishing the week green only had one red day this week it was wednesday yeah it was wednesday um 180 loss that day not too bad considering my wins. Made a little over a thousand on the week. We'll re- I'll review it uh, over the weekend with a weekly review. But I just wanted to go over these plays and how it's okay to miss a play as long as you trade the plays you have set properly and execute them um, as best you can and playing it safe. You just shouldn't get mad about missing the best play it happens if you plan on being in this game for a long time it's going to happen to you so just need to be better prepared study up this weekend and that's all we can do so hope everyone has a great day and we'll catch you later